today's date is Thursday, May 16th, 2019. The time is 9.40 p.m. I am on 15th and Collins, headed towards 17th and Washington. I'm going to get some gang stalking caught on camera for you tonight. If you're looking for obstruction of movement, public service vehicles, and other synchronized gang stalking activity, let's go. You just saw the first instance of synchronized obstruction. That group of people had 10 seconds to walk five feet. And they did not. They stayed in my immediate vicinity so as to obstruct me. They were five feet or less behind me when I started the video and they hung around so they would have more of a chance to obstruct my movements. That's how gang stalking works. Your stalkers will linger. Now I've narrowed the gang stalkers down to two categories. The ones that stalk your surroundings and the ones that stalk you personally. The ones that stalk your surroundings stage you. And what I mean by staging is they are strategically planted around the targeted individual north, east, south, and west for a specific distance in each direction. That way, regardless of which way you travel, you run into them. Then there are the stalkers that stage you personally. And what these stalkers do is they read your location, be it through your cell phone, be it through word of mouth or be it through the other set of stalkers that have staged your surroundings and what they do is they infiltrate the initial stage and they begin to systematically harass you personally cutting you off as you walk bumping into you as you walk stepping on your feet on public transportation knocking into you obstructing your movements etc etc so it's not as if there's just a bunch of zombie like influences around you that just follow you around aimlessly. It's systematic. Set one stages your surroundings and set two stage you personally. So if you try to get around the ones that are staging you personally, you'll still run into the ones that are staging your surroundings. You see, it's a double headed dragon. You have the one that staged the area that you're in, and then you have the ones that stage you. So whether you are trying to escape them going north, which is what I'm doing, or whether you try to escape them going south, you will run into both categories of stalker. You'll run into the ones that have staged your surroundings, and you'll run into the ones that are staging you personally. You see, you're going to run into them regardless. And that's it. That's the template. That's the blueprint. And that's the playbook. It's simple, but it's difficult to figure out. 
especially if you're not well versed in military strategies or gang stalking as an enterprise. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean right here. Notice the couple in front of me walking excessively slow. If I were to go to my left and try to swerve over around them, look what I got coming. I got another group of people coming right towards me. So if I were to try to get around these people to my left, I would have run into another crew of stalkers. You see, that's strategy. It's strategic. It's straight out of an NFL playbook. Okay, it's straight out of a military playbook. Okay, this is your tax dollars at work here. This is the war on terrorism right here. If I go right, I have to go through that little divot where there's all that mud. If I go left, I run into that foolishness. You see, you're staged. There are those that stage your surroundings and there are those that stage you personally. Now, about two streets back, you saw a bit of strategy. The couple in front of me are walking excessively slow. These are the groups that are staging me personally. The ones that were coming down the street that I would have collided into if I tried to get around them, those are the ones that are staging my surroundings. You see? They put you in between a rock and a hard place in gang stalking. This is the war on crime, even though I have no criminal record. Watch this very carefully. Okay. They were deterred by my camera. A group of knuckleheads like that will collide into you 10 times out of 10 if you're not documenting them. But I am documenting them. And here's synchronized space crowding here with the BMW, the electric one, and with a Porsche. As soon as I get there, and you see that little idiot, how close he got to me? That's gang stalking, that's obstruction of movement. There's more than enough room. You see how wide this side, this, this walkway is? There's more than enough room to walk by somebody in a decent manner but that little punk wanted to run into me you see but he didn't because I'm filming and these little idiots know that what they're doing is illegal even the ones that don't seem to know the depth of the gang stalking mechanism and what it entails they participate in it and that move right there just proved to me that they know there's something wrong with it because if you get scared of me when I get a camera out and you change your direction, that means you are getting ready to do something you knew you shouldn't have been doing. So I'm not worried about anybody that's afraid of being videotaped. If you were minding your business, and conducting yourself the way a decent citizen should, you wouldn't get scared when I pull the camera out. A little synchronization right there out of the ice cream store. 
Now mind you, these sidewalks are plenty wide. Much too wide, in fact, for a person to nearly collide into you while they're walking. All right, I'm gonna take the outside lane here. That, that was a synchronized unit right there. I mean, at what point do grown adults forget how to walk down a sidewalk when they're gang stalkers and they're told to walk a certain kind of way, regardless of who's around them? Every time I come to an intersection, you just happen to be there to obstruct my path. That is not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. It's a derivation. And I am going on the record right here and now by saying that I do no collaborations on any of my projects. I am the founder and sole proprietor of EIS Media Group. And everything that constitutes online activity through EIS Media Group, including all social media channels and Bible Discourses LLC and all activity related to that company online as well. I do everything myself because I have a very specific vision of what I want to do with my company. I own a small business. That business is comprised of EIS Media Group and Bible Discourses LLC. I've yet to incorporate EIS Media Group, but Bible Discourses LLC is incorporated. However, I consider them both my companies. EIS Media Group as the parent company, and Bible Discourses LLC as the subsidiary. All of my Twitter accounts are underneath the umbrella of EIS Media Group. It is a solo project, and I am the only employee. I've had a few hacks and intrusions on my online accounts from imposters. However, they've all been shaken off. And yes, gang stalking does have a cyber unit. And it is comprised of spineless hackers and slanderers. People who will go to forums and social media sites and other venues and slander your name and your business. But all of the cyber stalkers that have attempted to slander me have all failed miserably and I can both see it statistically and I can sense it Ten minutes left of recording time.
There's Temple Emmanuel, a fine Jewish synagogue that graces the corner of 17th and Washington Avenue. Now, Miami is not the most religious place you'll ever visit. A lot of people come to Miami strictly to act up and indulge in pleasures and decadences and so forth that they could not indulge in in their home cities and states. So to see that synagogue right here in the heart of Miami Beach on 17th and Washington, it is quite the culture clash, if I say so myself. A Jewish synagogue is the last thing you'd expect to see on the corner of 17th and Washington. There's every kind of nightclub and dance club and leisurely activity around here you could imagine. And it's my namesake. So how could I not like it? digital clock there it reads 10 06 p.m. and 81 degrees that's the primary reason I moved to South Florida is because of the year-round warm weather now I'll say this Miami is warm year-round during the day but the nights in South Florida were chilly this year. I don't know if it's like that every year, but this year the nights were chilly. I'd say from November to the end of February, the nights were surprisingly chilly. I hope it's not like that every year here in South Florida. I got seven minutes of recording time left. I'm gonna go into this McDonald's. And get some plastic silverware and some water because I'm dehydrated. A lot of times this McDonald's keeps water on standby like any responsible South Florida restaurant a lot of the restaurants in South Florida keep water on standby so that anybody that's dehydrated can come into the restaurant and get a cup of water and the systematic obstruction and really everything is on full display right now, synchronized, and it's based off of my movements. And ditto. That was synchronization. The minute I walked in the McDonald's, the stalker made a move on roller skates of all things. That 
Excuse me, ma'am. Can I get a fork and a water? Thank you. Thank you so much. In a hot city like Miami, dehydration is very common among people who are out and about, and that includes during the day and at night. And any responsible restaurant in a city that has consistently high temperatures like Miami or South Florida in general should have water on standby. So that if somebody is dehydrated, they can go just go into any restaurant and grab a glass of water. Plus, it, it drives business. The more people that go into your restaurant, the better, even if they are only going in there to get water. If I had a five-star restaurant that didn't have a single item on the menu under $100, I'd still have a big jug of water or a giant container of water somewhere near the door so that and a and a a nice selection of plastic or paper cups so anyone who is dehydrated could come into my restaurant and get themselves a cup of water if they needed it and who knows maybe A handful of the people that come in for water will come in and have a nice meal days or weeks later. For me, that just sounds like good business in a city like Miami to have water on standby for anybody who wants it. And that goes for all the restaurants. And here is my trolley. I just got here, and here it is that synchronization. But this is good synchronization. Because this is the bus that I'm taking. I'm joking. Anything that constitutes gang stalking is bad. <laughs> 